Hello everyone, I'm here to start a new vlog and oh, there's a little Gavin and the theme of this vlog is going to be reading Ice Planet Barbarians. Because there's so many books that are like popular on TikTok, but I feel like there's maybe not as many booktube videos about it. And I am also on TikTok, so I want to read the things that everyone on TikTok is talking about so that I can know the jokes. So if you don't know, Ice Planet Barbarians is this... Oh, he won't jump up by himself, okay. Ice Planet Barbarians... Ooh. Ice Planet Barbarians is this romance smut novel about these women that get like transported to this planet called Not Hoth and these big seven foot aliens like want to get with them to like get them with child i guess because their alien race is dying and tiktok has been like eating this up and i feel like it's gonna be fun and also like they're like apparently like a, sp a spur on them that feels good so i feel like it's gonna be a time so i'm gonna read this is gonna go for this weekend i don't know how many i will get done so i'm the first one here let's just see it's 188 pages, so that actually could be like doable in a day, especially if it's like crack and I really like, read a lot. Okay, there are 24 books in the series. Some of them are short stories, but um, okay, so we're gonna start. Maybe I could do like one to three this weekend and then we'll see if I get there. I don't know if I'm committing to all 24 books, but like once I start, I feel like I'm gonna wanna see the series through. So apparently this is a thing that I'm doing now. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get it on Kindle Unlimited. Which one am I returning? Okay, so we're gonna read it now. Okay, now I'm gonna pull up my Kindle. I've never read a sci-fi smut before, but I feel like it's just gonna be like a good fun time and I'm just gonna vlog my reactions as I read these first few books, so. Yes, here we have it, Ice Planet Barbarians. Here we go, this is the thing that I'm doing on the internet, but it's gonna be fun. Okay, so I'm 50% through the first book. They definitely read like very fast, so I definitely think I can like knock out a bunch of these for this vlog this weekend. We'll see how many I can like read, but oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, when I first started, I was like, this is a little rough. I don't know if I can do this so basically like it's very rough in the beginning um they get kidnapped like a bunch of girls get abducted by aliens and they're like little green men and then like basketball head guards <laughs> and but then there's some sort of like thing happens and they get like stranded on this ice planet and they call it not hoth hoth being from star wars um and it is a little bit dark in the beginning and there are content warnings about that so if you are going to read the book like just check the content warnings but yeah, at the beginning of the book it is a little rough just like in terms of the writing but then you get to where you meet the alien and it's like very interesting <laughs> i okay also i need to mention that this video is for 18 plus audiences because this is an erotic romance series that I will be talking about exclusively. Also, I know sometimes my parents watch my video. If you are my parent, don't watch this video, please. Just for everyone's sanity. I'm doing it because it's popular on TikTok, but just don't watch it, please. please. Okay, so now I can get onto the juicy details. So, and I'm not like going into anything that's like too spoilery. This is kind of just like the summary, but like, when the aliens like meet their mate, they like, resonate with like their life force or whatever. But because Georgie is a human, like she can't resonate. So like they obviously like can't really communicate with each other because one guy's like an alien, but they're obviously attracted to one another. And he's like trying to take care of her, but they don't know like what the other one needs because like they can't communicate because whatever. But like as a greeting. He, he ate her out. I'm just like reading the scene and I'm just like, oh my God. But like I had to highlight this quote because I needed to share it on the vlog. 
and like I feel like this is just the type of romance book that is just like insane like it's just it's so entertaining because like how insane it is you know well hi Gavin hello he's so cute okay let's go to where I have it highlighted <laughs> this is the most iconic line I think I've come across so far and really like just gets me and like this scene I will say the consent is dubious but she doesn't stop him and like enjoys it so make of that what you will <laughs> and so she's just like thinking she's on this alien planet just gonna like die right and then she's woken up and she's been eaten out <laughs> cool it's it wasn't a monster come to eat me. It was this monster who's come to eat me out. Please. Where is the National Pulitzer Prize for this novel? That is just a way with words. <laughs> this next part goes, I've dated guys that I haven't been able to convince to go down on me. And this one's doing it as a greeting. <laughs> Okay, and then, and then, like, this dude, he's seven feet tall, so, like, obviously he's hung. And, like, in romance novels, the dudes always are hung, but, like, he's seven feet, so he's extra hung. And it's, like, textured. And I'm like, did this author just look at, like, textured dildos online and was like... How can I make that into a real thing on a person for my novel? And that is how I Barbarians was conceptualized. And like actually at one point in the novel, like when they first have sex, she says, Ew, it's like my rabbit vibrator. Which honestly I came out here on the internet talking about all these things, but I've lost my filter. It is a journey. It is a journey, honestly, to just lose your filter this much. But whatever, I, I put the content warning on the video. Um, so yeah, I'm at 50%. I, Kevin, you want a book? <laughs> So it's late. My plan is to go to bed and finish the other 50% of this wild ride of a novel and continue to read the series the rest of the weekend. It's definitely like really fast. Like I feel like I could read a bunch of these in a day. Also, the spacing is like there's a space in between each paragraph. So it's actually probably shorter than the actual page length like in a typical book where there's not a line between each paragraph and that adds up over a novel. So it's probably more like a length. <laughs> Can you imagine in this video? I read all 24 Ice Planet Barbarian books in a weekend. That would be insane. Like I truly like who was out here doing it like Ruby Dixon? I like really need to know. Okay so like looking at this first cover you can't tell like what the aliens look like but it looks like in this one, you can kind of like see what they look like. It's basically like, they look very human, obviously, because this is like a male model and they just dyed him blue. So like, I'm blue, ba ba dee da ba da ba ba dee da Okay, so like they just look like men that are blue, but they have tail. Yes, they have tails. They have tails. Like, for everyone that, like, said, why did Cardin have a tail? Well, now we have Ice Planet Barbarians that have tails. So, like, tails are making a comeback, I think. Um, they're supposed to be seven feet tall. This girl is 
obviously very tall herself or maybe she has heels on it, I don't know. And they're like all muscly and then they have these like horns because they're horny, ha 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 ha. And like long black hair. Very interesting, very interesting. I don't know what I'm <laughs> Listen, sometimes you need a novel that is just like pure entertainment. And this is what Ice Planet Barbarians is delivering. This is why it is becoming a worldwide phenomenon. It literally like, TikTok can, I think, absolutely change the way that the book market works because it's a very powerful platform that like generates like a lot of views and a lot of interaction and engagement on content. So if something blows up, like it blows up. And like it blows up in a very measurable way. It's at the point where it's like very organic, right? Like no one was just out here trying to like sell ice plant barbarians to people before this. So I think like it's always surprising the things that blow up on the platform because it's not just like the traditional books, it's like other types of things. So I think if like I think that like TikTok can play a big role. I mean, also other books, social media, but just because people are now paying attention to TikTok and it, like things can just like take off because of the way that that platform is performing and the way that people are using it. Like maybe publishers will start to pay attention to the fact that everyone wants new adult as a genre, literally everyone. And all of these self-published new adult books are doing well thinking like I've seen a bunch on like the deal series by L. Kennedy that's off campus series by L. Kennedy like new adult is a thriving market fantasy romance I think is really taking off that is a genre that is mostly self-published from most of the ones that I've read that are like erotica fantasy not like romantic fantasy which the difference between the two is romantic fantasy I would say is more so published under YA and it is a romance like story but it's not erotica whereas like fantasy romance is like fantasy but it's also erotica okay i put on my makeup at 7 a.m and that's currently 11 p.m at night like she is holding up so i been present today i'm literally sobbing because i didn't know what it was and it's the gilded ones by namina forna and i was like I got a present and it's so beautiful and it is a present from none other than Keely. She goes congrats on the job smarty pants. Also this is one of my favorite books of the year. Love you from Keely. Joe. She got me a book because I started a new job. Okay so good morning. It's the next morning and last night I finished Ice Planet Barbarians. I'm just holding up the cover here on my phone. I'm just going to look at my phone case. It's so cute. Okay, I feel like this is gonna have to be like a no rating thing because I don't know how to rate it because it was just so out there and it was like so bad that it was good. Like I can see why people are, are addicted to this because it's like the writing is okay, the concept is outlandish and like it's just so entertaining. It's so entertaining. So I will be continuing on with the series. I think the next one is about Liz and Pranush is his name. This one was about Georgie and Vectal. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Like I think that they all end up with like mating bonds, like alien mating bonds. So it was like the way the alienness of this like planet and the way that they like survive was very an interesting concept. So I will give some kudos for that. But I have to go to work now, and then after that it's. It's just like ice planet barbarian time, you know? Okay, so I am gonna be back here by like 1.30 today. So how many ice planet barbarian books do you think I can read in one day? So it's later in the day and I'm now 50% of the way through barbarian alien, <laughs> which is number two in the series. So we're following Liz and she has like a major act and she like just wants something to do with this dude. And then we have Rahash, who is her mate, and he's like all surly. And so like she has an attitude and he's surly and like 
because he was like disfigured from some sort of like hunting thing because he's a hunter like he just thinks he's ugly and no one loves him and there's only four women so like he's never like four like native women that aren't human in his tribe so like he's never been with a woman and so <laughs> things are from there and then like they're like thing there's like a symbiotic relationship with this thing that allows them to breathe on this planet and that's like what resonates towards each other and so like they're resonating towards each other but liz is very resistant and she's like i don't want to be resonating towards you but she can't help like the primal urges that arise okay so i have some choice quotes whenever i come across something that's just like really funny <laughs> because i like to just read it i think the reason that it's so popular is because first of all it's just absolutely like ridiculous right but it's so ridiculous it's entertaining because it's just out there but second of all it's like i think this is very true for a lot of romance novels like it is just focused on the woman right like the men just want to please the woman do everything for the woman and so obviously women like reading about that because they want to partner that cares for them and will make sure and like go the extra mile to please them anyways so let's go to my notes for this book the first thing he's like i want to lie with you like as a couple does like in exchange like i'll take you hunting the next day and <laughs> she goes he wants to lie down like a couple that's fine this can be his first experience with a wifey cold shoulder welcome to married life raj okay burn burn and then okay so then they're like getting busy and she's like looking at his junk <laughs> and she goes blue balls i giggle never has the phrase been more true like you just can't make this shit up you just can't make it like i'm dead literally so okay so anyway so in this book rahash takes liz away to like basically they can work through their issues before they like return to the tribe and things are uh things are going from there the plot the science fiction of it there's more detail paid to the alien dick than there is to like the alien landscape and like any sci-fi consideration <laughs> it's just like yeah they were captured by little green men and they went to this ice planet that is not Hoth. So Hoth. Honestly, a creative genius. A paragon of our time. But people eat this shit up like I am currently doing because it's just enter fucking painting. Oh my goodness. Okay, I finished the second one and I have a baby here. Say hi. No. No. Okay, so at this point, we all know about like the aliens, right? And how <laughs> they're, um, they have these spurs on their dicks. So, when it's like missionary, it's like a rabbit vibrator. And when it's doggy, it's like, I honestly am shocked. And then, they also have tails and all i could think of was cardin and his <laughs> but stuff happened with the tail like truly she's just getting creative and i have to give her props for that like you go miss ruby you know your target audience and you're delivering what the target audience is looking for and that's why this is a sensation even if it's not the best written thing in the world it's just so like wild and entertaining so i'm gonna start the third one i think i started the second one at around five and it's nine now so i can definitely knock out Let's see this one is barbarian lover i thought it was 24 books apparently it's 36 books because there's a spin-off series. I don't know if I can commit to reading 36 of these books. But I'm going to try and see how many I can get through in the next two days. Until I like get sick of it and I'm like, okay, I need a break. <laughs> Book three. Okay, so this one is Barbarian Lover and it's Q. 
Kira. It's Kira and Ehako. And she has like this translator in her ear that like the aliens that abducted her can like track. So like they might be able to track them. So then she feels like she has to like go away. And like Ehako has been like flirting with her. And we saw it in the, a little bit in the second book. So let's see if I can finish book number three today. And then book number four is a novella. So just fuck it and read it all. But yeah, we're we're gonna start Barbarian Lover. Oh my god, like, so like their nipple stuff are supposed to be ridged, but it literally just looks like a guy with a nipple piercing. If you look at the cover, you probably can't really see. What a time. This is like the wildest I'm getting on the internet. We are going to read it now. It's 9 p.m. Let's see where the night takes me. Oh my fucking god, I'm literally fucking dying. I'm dying with this. Um, um, okay. So Liz, when she was like being pissy, um, she told Eheko, who like is into Kira, but they haven't resonated to each other, that he like he was like asking like the human custom and Liz is like, oh, just give her a likeness of your penis. <laughs> Um, because she wanted to like irritate Kira and so now it's Kira's book and I goes like I have a cordon gift for you <laughs> and she pulls it out and it's a dildo and he's like the others thought I was weird for staring at my penis for so long <laughs> oh the originality of the series is truly astounding <laughs> Said here's a horny gift, and he's like, "Why don't you like it?" Please, my man, Echo is out here just trying to court a lady. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, uh, I'm like crying, laughing. Oh. That's so awkward. That's so awkward. Oh my god. I have a feeling this book is gonna be good. I don't know, I just have a feeling. I'm currently on page 17, so not much left. What? What did I just say? I'm currently on page 17, so I have a lot left. But I'm like 10% of the way in, but like... <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. Oh my goodness. Hello, so it's Saturday and it's about 3 p.m. Um, I had a busy morning, we had dog training for my dog, I exercised and then I went out to lunch with my friends. So it's been busy. I legit fell asleep in the middle of reading this book last night. Not because it was like bad or anything, but because I literally like read it until I couldn't read it anymore. I don't know the point at which I fell asleep, but I literally think I fell asleep in the middle of a steamy scene, Barbarian Lover. So I'm 50% of the way through and this is definitely like, they want to be together, but like, Kira feels like she can't be with him for various reasons. And like, it's her getting over her own insecurities and him being like, you're fine. Why is this series so addicting? Like, I just, I under, like, I know it's like a phenomena and I know, and I'm like reading it now and I'm a part of it. And like, I just don't get it, but like, I'm here for it. So let's see, I am halfway through the third one. I want to at least read the fourth one today. And then I think there's a short story. We'll just see where the weekend takes me, but it's about to be an Ice Planet Barbarian weekend. Okay, so I did it. I finished the fourth Ice Planet Barbarian book. I don't even remember. I don't even remember if I updated like after the third book or not, but I just kept going. And so yeah, I read the first four Ice Planet Barbarian books this weekend. Honestly, it would have been more if I didn't have like a terrible migraine on Saturday and just had to sleep all afternoon to recover. But, you know, life happens. And then I was kind of busy today just running errands. So, you know, um, there are 22 books in this series. I'm not saying I'm going to commit myself to reading all of them. But, like, I'm intrigued. And it's low-key, like, kind of addicting. So I might continue. But I'm definitely going to take a break before I continue. But they're just, like, compulsively readable. The fourth book was... Barbarian Mine and this is the story between Harlow and Rook and 
this one was definitely like the most barbarian because basically like Rook um, grew up away from the tribe and so he was literally like living in the wilderness and does not know any language and so like you kind of like see them like trying to learn how to communicate and all that and um, this one definitely focused more on like the pregnancy thing which like did I mention that the series is like basically like one big breeding kink because like all the aliens are trying to like procreate their race because they're like basically like down to like weird dwindling numbers so if that's not your cup of tea like I don't know I think the reason why this series is so appealing and has been like taking off is because all of the men are just like himbos right like they're just like emotionally sensitive and like will do anything for their mate and like will cater to their needs and just like be emotionally sensitive himbos and they're there to please their mate and to basically like do anything to ensure their survival and you know people eat that up I like didn't think I was actually gonna enjoy the book as much as I did but like it was fun alien smut like I just was there for a fun smutty time and I had a fun smutty time is it a little bit ridiculous and out there yes but like it's a phenomena because sometimes you just have to set aside like your own preconceived notions and just go with it and have fun with it so like I said I think I will probably return to the series in the future i had a lot of fun like reading it for this video i did derail my july tbr a bit but that's totally fine um definitely compulsively readable like you can read them like very fast the next one in the series the fifth one is like holiday novella and at that point i was like okay i need to switch to something else for like a little bit but because you know like when you just like get so into a book and you just feel like sucked into that world i was like i'm like in the world of not hoth like this ice planet with like these barbarian aliens like i need to just do something different for a bit before I go back to this, but like low-key, like yeah, I just kind of want to read Alien Smut for like the next few months. So you never know. You never know where life will take you. And so I had a fun reading this like hyped book on TikTok. I think I'll probably read like more of like the hyped, super hyped like romance series on TikTok. Maybe like do some vlogs about it because I think it's fun just because I'm better at booktube than I am at TikTok. So kind of take the things from that platform and bring them over here. So that's really all that I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and the fun, smutty alien times. And just leave a comment down below if you liked it. Leave the alien emoji if you've watched this far. And have some memories of the books. I'll catch you guys in the next one.